To understand how his parents managed to get into Britain, Jerry has come to Golders Hill Park in London to meet Tony Grenville from the Association of Jewish Refugees. My um, parents always told me that, you know, England sa saved our lives and we would not have been alive but for England. That's true. Both you and I are actually only here because the British let in quite a substantial number of refugees, yeah. Jewish refugees from what was then Germany, included Austria, sure. where my parents came from then, uh, in the last 18 months or so before the war, because if they hadn't, then our parents would never have got out and we would never have been born. Because Hitler went into Poland September 1st. That's, that's when the gates shut. Oh my God, because I understood my parents came over like in August or just they, a few they, weeks before. They came, that's right, they did. Um, and here, is, here are the documents that oh. we found from the German Jewish Aid Committee. It says um, Richard Springer from Berlin, birthplace Landsberg, who was a shoe merchant. It says here, we obtained permit on guarantee of Miss Goldberg. That's right. Who's Miss Goldberg? I don't think we know who exactly she is, but the, the, that is how your parents' lives were saved and how you came to be born, that someone offered you a financial guarantee. It was 50 pounds, and that saved your parents' lives. Oh, my God. Britain's visa system favoured people like Richard Springer, a well-educated, well-travelled, middle-class Jewish man with a guarantor. On escaping to the UK, Richard moved his family into a small flat in Golders Green and scraped a living making uniforms for British troops. However, for other educated Jews not fortunate enough to find a guarantor, the only way they could get into Britain was by finding work as a domestic servant in advance of fleeing Germany. This is an excerpt from the Times of London. It's for domestic servants, all of them Jews from Germany, some of them plainly anything but domestic servants by circumstances, desperate to get in here. German married couple, wife perfect in all household duties, trained tailorist for ladies and children, husband, gardener, handyman, seeks post. These are probably university graduates. Some Look what they put here, non-Aryan. Yes. yes. Gentleman, German, non-Aryan, well-bred, of highest culture and education. God, the desperation. These are voices from the very brink of the abyss. Get me out. My dad, when, as I was told, when thinking, you know, when they finally made the decision, they wanted to get out and they had to get out, and whether they would try to go to France or try to go to England, and France obviously was next door, so that, but he chose England because he. He chose England because he said, it'd be tougher to get across the channel. You know, it would take him longer. I mean, just the things, well, I get emotional about it, it's just that, the things that we don't even think about a consideration. You know, it, it's such an innocent kind of a thing, but good Lord, what they must have been worried about, that you would really think we better go to England because it'll, you know, you always knew that you were gonna be chased. Jerry Springer has lived in America for nearly 60 years and is the world's most controversial talk show host. I think of my mother often and the loneliness she must have felt at times. 